We now want to look at single loop circuits. We first note that at this point we have arrived at a point where we have everything we need to begin solving or analyzing resistive circuits. Um, mainly we have conservation laws, KCL and KVL, and we have the VI relationship, the constituent relationship or terminal characteristics of our resistor. In other words, Ohm's law or V equals R times I. So we're first going to look at single loop circuits and then we'll look at single node pair circuits. So a single loop circuit is one where all of the elements are arranged in a loop. So here I'm drawing some blobs for elements. They all share the same current. And so the nice simple characteristic of this type of circuit is that there is only one unknown. There is a current I. And the current I is solved for by writing one KVL equation that is basically an expression of the voltages summing all the voltages around that one loop. So we have one equation and one unknown. We solve for the current and then given that we have the, the, uh, the resistance or the terminal characteristics, VI relationship for each of the elements in the loop, we can then use that current to compute uh, the voltage. So for example, this 8 ohm resistor, if we found that I was um, 1 amp, then we could compute that the voltage across that resistor was 1 amp times 8 ohms, or 8 volts. And then it should be noted that non-single loop circuits can often be reduced to an equivalent single loop circuit. And this is actually something that is done with experience as you learn various uh, linear circuit techniques you find that uh, oftentimes circuits that are much more complex than a single loop can be reduced at least within some constraints or some conditions some limits can be reduced to a single loop circuit and so uh, it is not going to be uncommon uh, to be solving single loop circuits even when you're studying some more advanced topics in electrical circuits or electronics